And uh, that is Carmel High School graduate Drew Kribler. Uh, he was, again, there for, uh, for, for that, to give that command. But whether you watch on your phone, at home, or around the world, it takes an army of people to get fans as close as possible to IndyCar racing without actually being on the track. News 8's Adam Pinsker takes us behind the scenes. The White House, Yankee Stadium, and Churchill Downs. Those are just some of the facilities that fit inside the 2.5-mile oval that is the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Included in that, a mobile city of production trucks that help beam IndyCar racing to the world. Nestled just outside the grandstands at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, you'll see a lot of white trailers, but there is nothing plain looking about what goes on inside. Hours before Saturday's Grand Prix, production crews were already revved up as drivers ran their practice laps. Everyone here has an important role from queuing the talent to maintaining individual driver cameras. Of the 33 cars that compete, 15 of them will have onboard cameras systems. Each of those 15 cars has three cameras on it. Senior Vice President for Penske Entertainment, Rich Feinberg, says the entire operation sets up shop at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in early May with 70 people, then ramps up to about 200 as race day approaches. We also have the responsibility of producing IndyCar racing for our partners globally. So we produce a world feed for every race, and it's distributed to about 40 countries around the globe and their fans see it in their native languages. And to satisfy the fans' need for speed, Penske Productions makes sure every angle is covered. In this trailer, workers operate joysticks that control the trackside cameras. Another crew seamlessly blends the sound of the race cars into the broadcast. It's all being done to give the viewer the best possible experience. Our goal is to not have them think about what it takes to do that, but just to enjoy the product, to be entertained, uh, to laugh, to cry, to be sad, to cheer, to root against, whatever it happens to be. To ensure Penske Entertainment workers can do their job uninterrupted, they travel with a generator, backup generator, even a full-service caterer. We have a lot of backups to our system, so outside uh, things will not affect what our job is. So we can't control Mother Nature, so the weather we really aren't able to deal with. The entire production crew will break everything down on the night of the Indy 500 and move to the next stop on the NTT IndyCar circuit, the Detroit Grand Prix. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.